Hello everyone. I wanted to do this video. This one's going to be different than my previous videos. Because this is about everything that's changed since August 9th. For those of you that do not know, Pogo's Occidentalists, Queens, are now legal to ship across the lower 48. Except for California and Texas, but there's something is some issues going on with that. I live in Colorado, so that doesn't affect me. I don't know. And just to state bluntly, I will not be selling Queens. These two boosted colonies I have here are going to friends. I am giving them away. They're old, long-time friends of mine. I figured they would enjoy having a couple Pogo colonies. I am not selling. I will not be selling. I want to make sure everybody that is clear about that. If you drop a comment in this comment section asking me to sell you some, I will not be doing so. It will be a firm no. I wanted to go over the changes that are happening that have happened since August 9th. Now, if you look at my video history, I have videos on how to catch queens, how to take care of new colonies, how to feed them, issues with heat, diapause, and all that. I'm going to make new videos detailing each one specifically from how to catch them, how to take care of them. I've been doing this for eight years, and I have discovered, with the help of a couple other people, the best way to get one of these queens to this two worker stage. Now, these are boosted, which I don't have to do anymore, but I'm doing this for friends to help their colonies get a jump start. Boosting queens after they lay eggs improves survival rate by quite a bit. So does putting in Tar Heel Lance formicariums, including devolve chambers and mini hearths. I have some right there I'm not using at the moment. but I also wish to try out the new inserts. I haven't had a real chance yet, but I plan on it next year, seeing how they work for me. But from what I've seen through videos and other stuff on Facebook pages, it looks like the inserts are very successful. Some of the things I'm going to go over here is basics that I will recover for each video, which is this species is fully colostral. I give them dandelion seeds as an early start. You don't have to, but I do as soon as she lays eggs, just so she can have extra food for herself and her pupa. And that's all her larvae right there. The, work, the callow workers and the adult workers there are brood boosted, but the larvae are all hers. Heat is a must with this species because without it, they will not survive. They will dump their brood in the outworld, and that'll be all she wrote. This colony I use. Let me get some light on this. Sorry, everybody. I use a heating cable, as you can see. I keep them on heat 24 7. Now, one of the important things with these ants is heat. They will also need diapause 48 to 52 degrees, 53 degrees for at least three months. Preferably in a mini fridge, which I use. Now I know as of now there are people selling them. I have seen people selling them anywhere from 25 buck queens for 25 bucks in a test tube, but nothing to the same, the exact same deal at 300 bucks a queen, with just a queen shoved into a test tube. I'm not going to go into all of that. Uh, like I said, I'm not selling. And there's people that are taking issue with some of the ways it's being sold and the, all the drama involved in the ant keeping world. Yes, folks, there is drama involved in this world. But I'm not going into that. I'm going to try and keep my channel here specifically for helping new people and other people raise this species because now 
this species is going to be across all 48 states, minus Texas or minus Florida and California again. Not sure what's going on there, but I want to help as many people as possible get these queens and colonies to three plus years to produce an alates like I have. I look forward to seeing other YouTube videos of people watching their colonies grow like mine have done in the past. I'm here to help people with questions. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I will do everything I can to help you raise your pogos right. If you follow with my advice, you have very, very good chances of having formicariums like these filled with pogo colonies. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm glad they made these changes. And I want to see this hobby grow. This, I think, is the best thing for this hobby. If it's done right, people are responsible, and respect is shown, this could be a big boost to all of our favorite thing, keeping ants. Plus, it gives people that are tired of the same old ant an opportunity to do something a little different. And I am honored and happy to be somebody that knows at least a little bit about this species. <coughs> Eight years. <coughs> Sorry, kidding. But I want to make anting more enjoyable and to a broader spectrum of people. And I want to help people keep these ants. So if any questions, anything you want to know, any ideas for future videos, drop a comment in the comment section. Like, subscribe, and... Let's start a new day with keeping ants. Thanks for watching.